one of the things that sets Aquilas apart. Could you tell us, um, you know, one or two or three other things that set Aquilas apart from other catamarans in the industry? Well, I think the, you know, the, the, one of our main things, and, and this doesn't apply to all, all the uh, power catamarans out there, but particularly on the bigger ones, um, the majority of power cats out there are modified sailing cats. Um, they do, and, and, and the simple thing is to look at the beams of the boats, very wide beams, um, typically very small engines, you mentioned it, so they efficient hulls at low speeds, but they, they're non-planing hulls, so you, you cannot get them up on the plane, so you, right. you're very limited in the speed, um, whereas Aquila, we've got planing hulls, our boats can get up on the plane and they do plane, so that's, that's a huge difference. Now, there are you know, other brands out there. Um, one specifically that, you know, I'm talking in the bigger range, but also believes in, you know, being a pure power cat. But I, th I think that's one of the main, main things. Um, but um, so I, I think that that's, you know, what, what, what we say to folks is, is it really a power cat or is it a modified sailing cat? Because it, you start at different, with a different hull shape. I mean, it really does really, change the yeah. end result when you start off from the, a blank sheet of paper to build a power cat as opposed to modifying a sailboat, right? So, you know, your bulkhead position is is the first thing that you're going to talk about. You don't have, you know, you don't have mast rigs, but on a power cat, you get a lot more torsion going through the waves because you, you know, and, and, and if you're going to be at higher speeds, it's a very different load situation. Um, so, you know, just fundamentally, bulkheads are, are very differently positioned and situated and so then also the scantlings, the, yeah, the scantlings of the boat as well you know if you've got a boat that's going to do 15 knots or you've got a boat that's going to do 30 knots very different structural you know the 30 knot boat has to be from a ce certification point of view significantly stronger right so a lot you know, of increased load that. yeah yeah um you know there's a big difference so when we talk about the Aquila's advantages, certainly those big master staterooms, the hydrofoil and the designs, walk through, uh, walk through uh, from the from the helm to the forward part of the boat on every single model, um, and of course boats built from the ground up to be power cats, not modified boats.